just taken his hand for us to be where we are today. Uh, karibu sana Pastor Alex, Radia, karibu sana Pastor Regina, karibu sana. Uh, you can share and share and share. Sharing is caring. Tonight we are going to break the curses. How to break the curses? How to break the curses? Hallelujah. And I know that our lives shall never be the same again. Yes, a curse can be broken. We looked about the anatomy of the curses and the sources of curses. And now I want us to do uh, what we call uh, breaking the curses. Uh, because most of the people have struggled on uh, how to break those curses and what to do when you realize that there is a curse that is inflicted in your life. When you realize that there is something that is going on, there is something that is negative that is going on in your life, what to do and what not to do. So uh, I know that your life will be metamorphosed today. So share with three, four people. And I know that Maisha Yatakua Mazuri. Maybe I saw you a missed call, but I was somewhere in a meeting. But trust me that tomorrow morning you'll be the first person to call. Uh, now to Tabarikiwa Nagoana. So uh tumekuwa tukisoma sana sana kwa hiyo wiki kuhusu Rayana na <coughs> tukasoma mambo mawili matatu ambayo inaweza tusaidia kuondokea Rayana na kila siku narudia ya kwamba sisi si watu ambao wakupiti, ni wakupitia Rayana Bwana sio sana kwa maana Kristo alitukomboa kutoka Rayana ya sheria ukienda katika kitabu cha Deuteronomy chapter 28 can you go there Deuteronomy chapter 28 uh, from verses 1 we see what what God spoke to the children of Israel and what uh, the Lord is speaking to us today so that it can be a blessing to you thank you for coming i don't take it for granted tuning on our page every day using your data using your wifi we don't take it for granted hallelujah i said you can't inflict curses to a new creation but a a new creation can be going through uh, the the darkness because of lack of knowledge when you are out of knowledge these things may follow you hallelujah now it shall be If you diligently listen and to and obey the voice of the Lord your God being careful to do all his commandments which I am commanding you today then uh, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth next verse and all these blessings shall co- come on you and overtake you if you shall hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God next verse blessed shall you be in the city blessed shall you be in the field blessed shall you be ah uh, ah uh, blessed shall be the fruit of the of thy body and the fruit of thy ground and the fruit of thy cattle the increase of thy kin and the flock of thy sheep eh uh-huh. blessed shall be thy basket and thy store all these are the blessings of obedience all these are the blessings of obedience and you go to verse 15 now Hallelujah. All these up to verse 14 there, verse 15. Uh-huh. 
but it shall come to pass. If you will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I commanded you this day, which, which I command you this day, that all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. If you disobey God, automatically, these were the curses that were to follow you. God did not need to speak anything against you, but disobedient led man to be inflicted these curses. Now verse 16 as we continue. Verse 16. Can shall, shall you NIV or KJV? And KJV of NIV. Shall you be in the city? And cast shall you be in the field. So instead of positive things happen happening, there is negativity. Hallelujah. Cast shall you be in the city, and cast shall be you be in the country. Eh? Cast shall you be in your basket and your kneading bowl. Eh? Cast shall be the fruit of your body and the produce of your land, the increase of your cattle and the offspring of your flocks. Eh? Cast shall you be when you come in and cast shall you be when you go out. The Lord will set on you cursing, confusion, and rebuke in all that you set your heart to do until you are destroyed and until you perish quickly because of the wickedness of your doings in which you have forsaken me. The Lord will make the prey cling to you until he has consumed you from the land which you are going to possess. Uh -huh. The Lord will strike you with consumption, with fever, with inflammation, with a severe burning fever, with a sword, with a scorching, and with midway they shall pursue you until you perish, among other things that the Lord spoke. But do you know, automatically these curses could come to the, the, to the children of Israel, because no one could fulfill the law. No one could fulfill the law. Hallelujah. Hakuna mtu hata mmoja alitimiza sheria. Kwa sababu sheria ni kwa ukiaguka moja, umeanguka zote. So, hakuna mtu hata mmoja ambaye aliweza kutimiza sheria. Na ni vingumu mwanadamu kutimiza sheria. So, ilihitajika mungu watumane diyo sheria itimizwe. Bona sio sana. Bila sema katika kitabu cha uh, John chapter 3 verse 16. Kwa maana jinsi hii Mungu alipenda ulimwengu, alipeana mwana wake wa pekee ili yeyote amwaminie asipotee bali apate uzima wa milele. Ha uh, verse 17 inasema nini? John 3:16, John 3:17. <coughs> Verse 17, kwa sababu watu wengi wanasoma 16, wanasawa verse 17. Inasema hivi. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world. Mungu wakutuma mwanawe, akakuje, akahukumu dunia. Bari, alimtuma, alitumana ya kwamba watu wote wa okoke kupitia him, kupitia yeye. Alitumana diyo sisi wote tuokoke na tuokorewe mahali pare. Aleluya. So, Yesu di alikuja kutimiza seria. Uki, ukizoma kita kitabu cha madhayo, tano, mustari wa kumina saba, Yesu alikuja diyo atimize seria. Wacha tusome. Nikipata ya kisori nitafurai pia. Do not think that I have come to destroy the law or the prophet. I not come to destroy but to fulfill. 
msidhani msi ya kuwa nilikuja kuitangua torati au manabii la si kuja kutangua bali kutimiriza Yesu alikuja kutimiriza haleluya na alitimiriza aje ama alitimiza ama alitimiza aje ali, ali, alifanya haya mambo kwa jia gani kwa kukufa msalabani haleluya kwa kuwekwa msalabani ilikuwa raana mwanadamu kuwekwa kwa msalaba ungewekwa juu ya msalaba ulikuwa wewe tayari usharaanika umewekwa kwa msalaba usharaaniwa haleluya so yesu akafanyika laana ndio sisi tusibebe ile laana na ndio maana nilikwambia jana mwanzo kitu kinafanya watu ambao wapate laana ama waingie kwa kwa laana ni kukosa ufahamu ambao ni mkamilifu watu wanakosa kuelewa uh, na kuwa wakamilifu katika Bwana so mambo mingi ambayo inafanya watu wasikwe na laana na vile zile vitu ambazo zina, zinafanya watu wasikwe na laana ni kwa sababu kuna ufahamu fulani kuhusu Kristo ambao hawajui ufahamu wa kwanza ni kwamba Yesu alifanyika laana haleluya ana kita kita kitabu cha wagalatia wagalatia tatu mstari wa kumi. wagalatia tatu mstari wa kumi. ukipika pale useme amen haleluya aha kwa maana wale wote walio wa matendo ya sheria wako chini ya laana maana imeandikwa amelaaniwa kila mtu asiye dumu katika yote yaliyoandikwa katika a, kitabu cha Torati ayafanya ayafanye enda mstari wa 13 Kristo alitukomboa katika laana ya Torati kwa kuwa alifanywa laana kwa ajili yetu alifanywa laana kwa ajili yetu maana imeandikwa amelaaniwa kila mtu agikoye juu ya mti so Yesu alifanyika laana kwetu alifanyika laana kwa ajili yetu so kwa maana jinsi hii Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu alipeana mtoto wake ndio ile laana ya kwenu nyumbani ile ambayo inaleta magonjwa ile ambayo inaleta umaskini ile ambayo inaleta mambo mabaya ndio ikaweze kuondolewa haleluya na laana haiondolewi na mambo ya uganga hata uenda kwa muganga ndio umaskini uishe kwenu muganga hawezi ondoa laana anaongezea laana katika nyumba yenu muganga hawezi ondoa magonjwa anaongezea magonjwa kwenu muganga hawezi ondoa kisirani katika maisha yako anaongezea kisirani katika maisha yako haleluya So kila kitu kina, kina, kinafanya mtu a, a, aelewe kwamba atoke kwa laana kitu ya kwanza ni kuelewa neno la Bwana ni kuelewa lazima ukue na, na, na uelewe ya kwamba Yesu Kristo alifanyika laana kwa ajili ya maisha yetu haleluya Bwana asifiwe so ukijua ya kwamba Yesu amefanyika laana una laana zote you put them on the cross haleluya shida zote unaziweka kwa msalaba looking unto Jesus Hebrews chapter 12 verses 1 looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith so i want you to understand that there is power that is an immeasurable power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ so we ought not to have anything else but to uh, to run unto the name of Jesus he uh, Kristo alitukomboa uh, wait, 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 wait. very fast therefore since we are surrounded by uh, such a huge crowd of witness to the life of faith let us strip off every weight that slows us down especially the sin that so easily trips us and let us run with endurance the race god has set before us 
Next verse. I love this verse now. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus. We keep our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Because of the joy awaiting him, he endured the cross, dis disregarding his shame. Now he is seated in the place of honor besides God's throne. Hallelujah. So Jesus is the solution. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the solution to this problem. Hallelujah. You must understand that Jesus is the only hope of glory that we have. He brought it out everything that was written, everything that was accusing us. Ali Futa, Kwam Saraba, Ali brought out. Alifuta kile kilikuwa kimeandikwa kwa ya kwamba ni hukumiwe wa kwamba ni mariswe ya kwamba nifanyiwe kila kitu in the book of Psalms 119 verses 130 uh, the bible says the unfolding of the word of god brings light it brings understanding to the simple so kuelewa kwa neno la bwana ni kitu cha dhamana sana my people perish for lack of knowledge. When men are in darkness of right, when there is no knowledge, people live in darkness. Wakati hakuna mwagaza waneno, hawa watu wanaishi kwa giza. Na nina kutangazia usiku wa leo. Unaondoka kwa giza katika jina la yesu. Kila magonjwa katika familia yenu. Leo inaondoka katika jina la yesu kristo. Yesu alibeba magonjwa yote kwa mgongo wake. Na nimetangaza siku ya leo, hakuna magonjwa kwenu wambayo Takufuatam. Hakuna generation of cars. About in a far kufuatam. We serve a living God. Shout hallelujah. Every cast in your family. It has no legal crowd. As long as we are in Christ. So what we need to do? Jana Jab Karibusana. Na ujua vita yako haijaisha. Kona vita na wewe na muangi. Ya hiyo, hiyo tapiga na kesho. Uh, I want you to understand. I want you to understand this. That uh, Christ became curse for us. Hallelujah. Na wacha ni kuambie. Never measure yourself by where you come from. I know you come from a very poor family. I know you come from a very humble family. I know you come from a family that does not excel. But I want to tell you, when you put your focus to Jesus, Jesus becomes the source of your wealth. Because he was made poor so that you can become rich. When I came to understand this verse, I forgot where I came from. And I focused and I said, I refuse the spirit of poverty. I refuse to be poor. From today, I am rich. I am not poor. I am rich. I am very rich in the name of Jesus. Shout, I am rich. Come on. So the first secret is to have the knowledge. Number two is to believe in Jesus Christ. Is to believe in Jesus Christ. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone the new has come. So when you believe in Christ, when you believe in Christ, you are no longer in crisis. Christ becomes your defense. Christ becomes your source. Christ becomes your power. Hallelujah. So, how do you believe in Christ? By accepting Jesus as your personal savior. Romans chapter 10, verses 9. Romans chapter 10, verses 9. Karibu sana, Zed. Love you so much. Sami, karibu sana. Listen to this. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Hallelujah. This is the way to be saved. This is the way to be saved. Confess with your mouth 
that Jesus is the Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from dead, you will be saved. Hallelujah. So, uh, next verse, for, for you, you believe in your heart. You have to believe in your heart. After believing, you confess what you believe. Hallelujah. You confess. There is power in your mouth. You confess what you believe. That is, for it is by believing in your heart that you are made light with God. You believe in your heart. And it is by confession with your mouth you understand that, uh, that any time that we are in Christ, we are not in crisis. Any time that we believe in our hearts, any time that we believe in our hearts, that Jesus is the Savior, that Jesus died for me, that Jesus died for my life, that I am not to be condemned again, I am not to be on sin again. Sin has no domain in me again. Sin has no authority over me again. Curses has no authority over me again. It is from that realization that you 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 that, that you, you 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 are you are able to resist every arrow of the devil. Hallelujah. You'll be able to resist every arrow of the devil. So you have to believe in Jesus Christ. You have to believe in Jesus Christ. You have to confess Jesus is the Lord. The power is in your mouth. Hallelujah. Next thing is sub Hallelujah. Submit to God. Submit to God. Submit to God. That is uh, the other thing that you have to do. Submit to God. That is the book of uh, uh, Job 22, verses 21. Job 22, verses 21. Uh -huh. The Bible says what? Submit to God and you will have peace. Then things will go well for you. Submit to God and you have peace. And all things will go well with you. Hallelujah. That peace, the Hebrew meaning of this peace is Eileen. Eileen, that is shalom. It, it carries wealth. It is the shalom of God. It, it is the peace that Jesus left us with. It is the shalom of God. It is the way of the prosperity and stability and rest. In fact, this peace is rest, the rest of God. When you operate in the place, from the place of rest, then you'll be able to fight the devil. James chapter 4, verse 7. James chapter 4, verse 7. James chapter 4, verse 7. Hallelujah. Are we there? So humble yourself before God. Uh, can you put uh, NKJV? Resist the devil and therefore submit to God. Resist the devil and he will free from you. You cannot fight the devil out of submission. You have to submit to God. You have to submit yourself to God. And after submitting yourself to God, then you'll be able to fight. You'll be able to fight the devil. You'll be able to fight the arrows of the devil. You'll be able to fight curses. You'll be able to fight diseases. You'll be able to fight poverty. You'll be able to fight all those forces of darkness. Because Jesus says that I came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Receive life in the name of Jesus. Receive the Zoe in the name of Jesus. Receive the life of God in the name of Jesus. Zoe is the life of God. May you receive it tonight. May you receive the life of God. And after knowing this, there will be no curse that is reigning in your life. There will be no curse that will be reigning in your family, in your lineage. I break that generational curse. 
by the power of the blood of Jesus, and by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. I want to tell you today that there is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood of the cross. That Jesus went to the cross once and for all so that he can save us from the humiliation of the devil. And once we speak out the power of the blood of Jesus, we are liberated from every captivity. For the spirit of God is the spirit of liberty. He has given us liberty. He has set us free. There is no greater love than this, um, that a man dies for his life, uh, that a man gives his life um, for a friend. Jesus gave his life for us. Jesus gave his life for you. You're going to accept this Jesus um, who died for you, who brought it out um, the lightings of the devil, the lightings of the Rome, and made us free from curses. Hallelujah. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I will I think I should take some swap. Hallelujah. Jesus died for your sins. I need no other argument, Susan. I need no other argument. I need no other plea. Jesus died for me. I don't need 30,000 to break my curses. I don't need 50,000 to break my curses. I don't need uh, 777,000 to break my curse. I don't need the blood of Jesus on the cross who was made curse for us. It's enough to redeem us. I don't need, uh, I don't need 21 days fasting to break the curse. I don't need them. Uh, uh, there, 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 there's nothing that you can do else apart from what was done on the cross. <coughs> there is no enough money to break the curse. There's no amount of money that can break the curse. <coughs> what you need is to know that Jesus went there for you. Looking unto Jesus, the out and the finish of my faith. Jesus died for me. Jesus died for my family. There is now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. I will not be condemned again. Romans chapter 8 verses 1. I will not be condemned again. I will not be humiliated again. And I know all things work together for me. Why? Because I trust in him who redeemed me from the curse of the Rome, who redeemed me from every affliction of the Rome. The Bible says in the book of Exodus chapter 15, verses 26, if you diligently hearken to my word, I will not bring these Egyptian diseases to you. I declare tonight, if there is cancer in your family, if there is high blood pressure, if there is typhoid, if there is uh, diabetes, any generational disease, right now in the name of Jesus, I break it in the mighty name of Jesus. I break it right now. I put it on the cross. I stick it on the cross in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out of that affliction. Come out out of that danger. You are out of danger now. You are out of that condemnation. You are out of that limitation. You are not be limited again. We serve God of abundance. You will stand by light, by rest. Hallelujah. That barrenness is cancelled today. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah 54, verses 1 and verses 2, Let the barren sing hallelujah, for they will be having more children than the married women. I declare to the barren from today, no more barrenness in your womb, no more barrenness in your family, no more barrenness in your tent, no more barrenness in your business, no more financial stagnation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I see my God attending to your case. I see my God attending to your family. I see my God attending to your destiny. Receive it right now. 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 Receive it
receive new levels and receive new levels and come out of that prison come out of that stagnation come out of that um, Jesus is the way the truth and the life there is no other way Muhammad is not the way Buddha is not the way not uh, God from Mount Kenya are not the way Uhuru or Ruto is not the way Jesus is the way the truth and the life um, whoever wants life uh, he's gonna go to Jesus he's the one who came um, that we, we may have life um, there is no life in a sinner what what gives life is only one Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and the glory of the glorious and who entered to the, to the heads and, and destroyed the works of the devil and paralyzed the heads and, and came out with the victory and gave us the victory that he went with and we, he went to take him. He went there in my with my name so that he can redeem me from every curse, from every destruction of the devil, from every humiliation of the devil. I have been redeemed. I am the redeemed of the Lord. I can never be cursed. I can never be cursed. Now I know I am out of darkness. The devil has no legal cloud. My mind is clear now. I can see Jesus. I don't see anything else. I see Jesus who died for me, who has entered to the Holy of Holies and he's glorified in heaven and who seated in the right part of the Father. The Bible says that we are seated together with Christ in the heavenly places. My friend, we are seated with Christ, not in this world, in the heavenly places. And as he is, so are we. How? We are shining like Jesus. We are righteous like Jesus. We cannot be condemned. The curses has no border, has no legal crowd to come to the new believer, to come to the new creation, to come to the sons of God. In fact, the whole creation is waiting for manifestation of the true sons of God. The Bible says in the book of Romans, chapter four, chapter 8, verses 14, uh, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are sons of God. How can you afflict a curse to a son of God? I am, yeah, I can never be cousin. The Bible says, and I will reverse the curses to become blessings. May any curse that was raised against your life against your destiny. May it come back as a blessing in the name of Jesus. Anything that was raised as an accusation against your life, may it turn around. May it turn around. May it turn around in the name of Jesus. There will be no more toiling in your life. There will be no more struggling in your life because Jehovah has redeemed you. Jehovah has made you new. Jehovah has made you a new creation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Can I hear a celebration of new creation? Can I hear a celebration of new creation? Clap for this Jesus. I need no other argument. I need no other plea. He is enough that Jesus died. And that he died for me. Pastor, you don't need money to be redeemed from the curses. You don't need to go with a goat. How he touch each other. How he touch each other. Hallelujah. People think that tither can work. Tither cannot work. Somebody explain to Sammy what is tither. I guess he explained to Sammy what is tither. Hallelujah. The bread of goats cannot work. Hallelujah. 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 Opening the, with me the book of Hebrews chapter 9. Hebrews chapter 9. Hebrews chapter 9, verses 13. Can you start from uh, verse 13? In the same manini? Hebrews chapter 13, verses... Uh, chapter 9, verses 13. For if the bread of bulls and goats and the ashes 
and of Haver, sprinkling the unclean, sanctifies for the purifying of the flesh. Next verse. How much of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, cleansing your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Chapter 10, verses 4. Chapter 10, verses 4, very fast, very quick. It is not possible that the blood of bull and goats could take away the sins. The blood of bulls, the blood of goats. Buzi umaitishwa kwenu, haziwezi. Ati kwenu, mutu wakakuja kama mbiye na muna pitia lazima mchije buzi. Hakuna kodo, hakuna buzi. Ambayo inaweza, no tradition of men. Nothing that can take away the sins, the curses. Hallelujah. Hakuna attack ata moja inaweza inaweza kuondoa dhambi. Hallelujah. There is nothing else that can can take away the sins of men. Bwana sio sana. Hakuna kitu ata kimoja kinaweza toa dhambi. Hakuna kitu ata moja kinaweza ondoa dhambi za wanadamu. Hakuna ni damu ya Yesu pekee. Haleluya. Watu wengi wamedanganywa sana na na philosophers of men. Watu wengi wamedanganywa sana ati dio hii shida iisha kwenu. Lazima tuende kwa gekoyo na mobi. Lazima tuende tuangalie mlima Kenya. Lazima utoe buzi tatu. Halo, lazima ufanya hii na hii na hii. Lazima tumwage damu huko kwenu. Lazima nikuja na chubi nimwage hiyo nyumba yako. Kama we ulidaganywa ya kwamba chubi inaondoa dhambi. Ati hiyo laana mnahitaji mkoroge maji ya chubi mmwage nyumba yenu. Huyo ni wewe you are wewe ni mchawi ni making. Kama unatumiaga chumbi kufukuza mapepo kwako, you are witch in making. Hallelujah. Hata kuniangalia vibaya ndio wewe naambia usini mwaga maji ya chumbi ukachukua ukamwaga mwaga tu hivyo tini mapepo unafukuza a witch in making chumbi haiwezi ondoa dhambi is only the blood of jesus hallelujah don't be cheated by tradition of men hallelujah colossians chapter 2 verses 8 don't be be cheated usidaganywe na mambo ya ulimwengu na mambo ambayo inafanywa na wanadamu wanakudaganya sijui ufanye hii Dio hiyo ma- makosa hiyo ndoke. Beware arrest anyone cheat you through the philosophers and empty the seat according to the tradition of men, according to the basic principles of the world and not according to Christ. Give me message Bible. Hallelujah. Tusidaganywe. Tusidaganywe. Lazima nitoe pesa. Dio madhabahu ya kwetu ivunjwe. Dio laana ivunjwe kwetu. Jishikanishe na madhabahu ya Bwana. Dio laana ivunjwe. You need 20,000. Watch out for people who try to dazzle you with big words and intellectual double talk. They want to drag you off into the endless argument that never amount to anything. They spread their ideas through the empty traditions of human beings and the empty superstitions of the spirits, spirit beings. Eh, tuli tuka na laia gomi. Tuwena tuka, tuka pea gomi. Hallelujah. But that is not the way of Christ. If it is not Christ, it is not the way. If it is not Christ, it isn't the way. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Believe in Christ, repent, and be saved. Jesus is the way. is the only way that we have. Not, uh, not uh, one of the ways. Jesus is the only way that we have. Hakuna kabisa dawa ya makosa. Hallelujah. Ya kutu takaza 
Bila damu yake Yesu is only the bread. Is I know, I know umetoa pesa mingi sana. Ndio madhabahu ya kwenu ivunjwe. I know umetoa pesa mingi sana. But you are despising the work of the cross. Hallelujah. Let me tell you this. There is no pastor who has power to break the curse. There is no pope, no father, no catechist, no bishop, no apostle has power to break the curse. Only the blood of Jesus can do that. Hallelujah. Only the blood of Jesus. Only the blood of Jesus. Pastor, hear me. You don't have the power to break the curse. Hata kwenu kuna rana mwashidwa kufuja. Unakuja kutufujia sisi. Hello? Kwenu inakushida. Unakuja kufuja yetu. Kwanza kuja ya kwenu. You don't have power. The power that we have is in the name of Jesus. Hello? The power that we have is in the name of Jesus. Pastor Joseph, wambie, there is no amount that can break the curse. There is no gods that can break the curse. It is only the power of the name, the power of the blood of Jesus. That power has authority to break. That power has authority to bring down every regulation of the devil. It is only the blood of Jesus that can be brought out. Inaweza futa kilicho wadikwa. Hallelujah. Damu ya Yesu peke. Bwana sio sana. Na venye nini mmeamwaga? Na venye tumemwaga maji ya tuvi kwa nyumba yetu pasta. Tukifikiria mapepo itaenda. Bwana sio sana. Na venye tumemwaga anointing oil kwa nyumba. Tukifikiria mapepo inaenda, anointing oil itoagi mapepo. Tuvi haitoagi mapepo. It is the name Bwana sio sana. It is the name and the blood. We were given a name. Hallelujah. There is power in the name. In the name of Jesus. Colossians chapter 2 verses 14 to 17. Colossians chapter 2 verses 14 to 17. Rapadia parakuda mahande rebo. Reshete mazota rakadi. Atipasa unafunga kioski. Eh kuna kioski nafunga. Hakuna haja, hakuna haja, hakuna haja tuonge ukweli. Hallelujah. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your money to break the curse. Some money, even that some, the money that you are using is is, is under curse. <laughs> Kama uko cursed si pesa yako iko kwa laana kwani unaweza tumia pesa ambayo imelaaniwa kuvuja laana come on can you put a uh, put put a uh, king james version uh, can you go to verse 13 are you being dead in your sin and the uncircumcision of your flesh has he, has he quickened together with him having forgiven you all trespasses next verse blotting out the hard writing of ordinances that was against to blot out as to delete uh, was against us which was contrary to us and took it out of the way Nailing it on the cross. Hallelujah. He nailed that curse on the cross. He nailed that disease on the cross. He nailed it on the cross. Then if three goats, three white goats can remove a curse, then there is no need of the cross. There's no need of Jesus dying 
And Jesus never died for nonsense. Jesus died for us that we may have life, that we may come out of this affliction. We may come out of this captivity, the captivity of curses. He died for us so that we can come out of this. And from today, you are coming out of that curse. In the mighty name of Jesus. Na kama ulitisha pesa, itisha tujenge church. Kama ulitishwa 5,000 to break the curse, itisha tujenge church. Itisha tununue maikia church. Na cheji nda kupatia ukule nyama. Para siya sana. How can you make business with the with the with the challenges that people are say, are facing? Don't make business with what men are facing, with what men are going through. Hallelujah. Because you have seen people are at a friction. Now you want to, to drag money out of that family. You want to drag money out of that the out of that. Out of out of that person who is sick, the way you got your issue, lazima mtoe seven thousand seven hundred and seventy-seven. Namweka kwa Bible. Hallelujah. Hi, <laughs> somebody help me with the Bible here. Which one's idea na Bibiria? So I want you to understand that it is it is a game of might. It is a game of might. Bona sana. It is a game of might. Because you don't know, that is why you have suffered, you have lost all those money. Wajiga diyo waliwao. Hallelujah. Unabiwa, Iso 777, weka hapa kwa bibiria. Unaweka pesa. Unaweka hapa kwa bibiria. Are we still on? Unaweka kwa Biblia mzuri. Haleluya. Unaweka kwa Biblia mzuri. Hapo alafu naambiwa useme Jesus mara saba. Unasema Jesus mara saba. Alafu naambiwa hizo pesa hiyo uh, hiyo ndio kegogona Mungu atachukua hiyo pesa. Si Mungu anachukua ukienda wanatoaga kwa Bible wanaenda kukula. Pastor, I It's not God who has taken. It's not God. Let us preach the truth. Let's tell the people that there is no money that you can. If you want to give, you not be forced. There is a number there that you can give. Kuna number apo. You can give to the house of God, and you can give without being usiuziwe uoga. Ati pesa uweke kwa bibiria hapa. Uweke hizo 7,077. Then sema imeni marasaba. Amen. 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 Kas vujika. Kas vujika. Kas vujika. Makoja vujika. Makoja vujika. Hai vujika. Pasa anakoja umaliza kufanya iyo. Iyo wa, iyo wa mula besi unafanya. Haida ya chukue pesa wakakule na watoto waki. Wajinga diyo wali wao. But when you have the true knowledge, when you understand that your deliverance is in the word of God, you are not at affliction. You are, uh, you, you are not uh, in the darkness. When the word of God has been unfolded in, in, into your life, then you shine. You arise and shine. Hallelujah. So the devil fears only one thing. You are ability to know the word of God. Your ability to know that you have been delivered. Your ability to know that you are new creation. Satani hataki ujue ulikombolewa. Satani hataki ujue ya kuwa madhabi zako zimeondolewa. Palazia atalakadi. Pereza atalakade palatati. Bwana suwe sana. Halo. Sasa unasikia, unanikasirikia una kwa sababu nimekwambia nime ukweli na ulipeana hiyo pesa. Hmm? Na wakati nikwambia tunue maiki ya kanisa ulikata. Diyo mana ulienda uka ukakuliwa. Kwa sababu wajiga diyo wali. Wow. My people perish for lack of knowledge. 
Now when you have the knowledge, when you have the truth, when you have the ability to see in the realms of the spirit, you and you have ability to understand that I am out of that condemnation, then the curse will not follow you. Hallelujah. Next is declarations. Next is declarations. We are still on how to break the curse. Declarations and confession. Declaration and confession. Job 22, 28. Job 22, verses 28. Job 22, verses 28. La, 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 hallelujah. La, 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 la. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto you, and the right shall shine upon your way. Mutu wa nisaidia kupiga duru wapo. Piga duru igine. Thou shalt also decree a thing, weka NKJV, and it shall be established unto your right. You will also declare a thing. You shall also declare, I am healed, and it shall be established, and you'll be healed. So light will shine on your way. Hallelujah. Message Bible. You will also declare a thing. Declare, I am rich, and it shall be established. Declare a thing and shall be established. You will decide what you want and it will be uh, it will happen. Your life will be bathed in light. Hallelujah. It is a matter of your decision. You decide, you declare that I'm healed. Declare I'm not poor. Hallelujah. There is power in your mouth. Hallelujah. Kuna mtu juzi, sijui tulikuwa na pasa zaka matulikuwa na nani, alikuwa na peana example. Akasama kwa mfano, uh, mtu kama wewe, uh, uh, mtu kama, uh, mi, tutusema mtu kama mimi, uh, uh, wewe ukiwa rafiki yangu, uh, ukufe. <laughs> Nika mwambia, I can never die. I can never die prematurely. Akaniambia ni example. Tuseme we umekufa. Anasema tu tuseme ati we umekufa na ni example anapeana. Nikamwambia even in an example I cannot die. Hey! Bwana sio sana. Even even when you are giving an example, when you put me then you put the wrong person to the place of death. I cannot die even in an example. Come on! I am born of God. I am born of the Spirit. And just that are born of the Spirit, they are Spirit. And the Spirit do not die. Hallelujah. Let me tell you this. I cannot be poor, even in an example. Come on. I am born of God. The doctor gave me three weeks to rest. The doctor told me that I cannot walk. I cannot eat for three weeks. I have to be bed late, bed laden, and after three days, I rose out of my bed because I am born of God. Come on. This year to Hotangui. Hallelujah. That was the report of the doctor. I don't know what your doctor told you. Hallelujah. I risked. Nobody could think that I could walk. I'm talking about Amanda Go. Nobody could think that I could walk. Nobody could think that I could do anything. The doctor has given me prescriptions. And he has told my family that this man cannot eat for a month. He cannot, he cannot walk. He must be at his bed for three weeks. But that was the report. But God's report is different. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. I was healed by his power and by his grace. 
Hallelujah. The man that you are seeing today is a man who has been afflicted, a man who has been beaten, and I rose again by his power. I rose again by his strength, by his stripes. I am healed and I can see tomorrow. And I come here tonight to direct every report of the doctor, every report of your witchcraft, every report of your family. They said in your family there will be no mighty man. You are coming out as a mighty man in the name of Jesus. They say in your family there will be no big seed, there will be no great seed, there will be no person to become great. I declare your case is different. I declare your case is different in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Last but not least, last but not least, wear the full armor. Wear the full armor of God. Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10. Wear the full armor of the Lord. You must be a person who wears the full armor of the Lord. Um, we are still in breaking, breaking curses. Hallelujah. Have I talked about goats? Kama unataka buzi. Kama, kama uko, kama tu uriabua buzi. Ndiyatae ni kule. Na itaita sami hapa. Tukule, tutija mzuri, tukule vizuri. Lakini na ibreki kasi yote. Ile kitu ina break ni ja. Kasi na breki ja tu. Hallelujah. Buzi na breki ja tu. Hallelujah. <coughs> Uh, that about uh, uh, that and that about laps it up. God is strong and He wants you strong. Next verse. So take everything the Master has set out for you, well made weapons of the best materials, and put them to use so you will be able to stand up to everything. The devil throws you away. Hallelujah. When you submit to God and you resist the devil, he frees from you. Hallelujah. Then you wear the full armor of the Lord. Hallelujah. Next verse. Da, la, 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 la. This is no uh, this is no afternoon athletics contest that we we walk away from and forget about in, in a couple of hours. This is for keeps arrive or death fight to the finish against the devil and all his angels. This is not a, a, an afternoon thing. Uh -huh. But that in. Be prepared. You are again you you are up against far more than you you can handle on your own take all the help you can get every weapon god has issued so that when it's all over but the shouting you will still be on your feet hallelujah you'll be still on your feet next verse la 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 truth righteousness put uh, another another version uh -huh. Stand therefore, having your loins guilt about with truth. Zoya kuwa mtu wa ukweli. Hallelujah. Kuwa mtu wa ukweli. The truth talks about the truth of life. Kuwa mtu ambao anatumia ulimu wake kuongea ukweli. The truth speaks about the spirit of truth. Hallelujah. That's the Holy Spirit. You need to have the Holy Spirit. And having on your Breastplate, hapa of righteousness. Ukuwe mtu wa righteousness is the right stand. Ya kwamba unaweza simama bele za buwana na ukubarike. Next verse. Ulu, 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 ulu. And your feet shod with the prepare the preparation of the gospel of peace. Next verse. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Imani, what is faith? Faith is a substance of things. Faith is, is an evidence of things. A substance of things hoped for, before, an evidence of things not seen. Wherewith ye shall be able to conquer, to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Next verse. 
and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Uh -huh. Praying always with our prayers and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with our perseverance and supplication for all the saints. So the last thing that you have to do is to put the full armor of God. Weka siraha za bwana. Kama hutaki laana zikufuate. Iyo madhabahu ikufuate. Izo waganombaya zikufuate. Izo magojwa zikufuate. Lazima uvae the full armor of God. You must be a man of righteousness. You must be a man of holiness. You, have, you, be a, you, you must be a man of truth. You, are, you should be a man of the word of God. You should be a man who has equipped himself. You are well equipped with the, the whole defense, with the armor of the Lord. And once you, you, you put the whole armor, you are clothed with the full armor of God. Then you are preserved from every iniquity, from every evil thing. And I declare tonight, you are out of every affliction of the devil. You are out of every captivity of the devil. And from now, may you arise in the name of Jesus. The devil has no power, has no authority over you and over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare you are blessed. You are favored. You will increase in favor. You don't need a goat. You don't need 666. You don't need 777. You don't need any amount to be saved. What you need is the blood. The blood of Jesus is enough to take away all these curses in Jesus' mighty name. Why oh, bless the Lord? Because of you knowing the truth. Hallelujah. Now, we have to say that 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 Kwanza nyumba za mabati msimwage mjamaji ya chumbi inakula mabati sana. Atikunya anointing chupa bili. Pia ni mafuta. Na iko na cholesterol. Tashikwa na hata attack. Hai. Au siniita atinikuombea tukibashikwa na hata attack. Kwa sasa sana. God bless you so much. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Uh, mbarikiwe sana Rari na kuona sana Prince na kuona kageni miri pasa Regina uh, In the name of Jesus Faith God bless you so much uh, Faith mwangi ubarikiwe Zaidi 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 Among others you imagine yanu inaidaga wapi hapa uh, And I know that the Lord is doing Mighty 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 things Pastor Joseph God bless you so much uh, Pastor Favor Mungu akubariki zaidi Hallelujah. So uh, I, I give glory to God. Don't miss tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I'll be live at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. We have a leadership meeting where we teach leaders of the church and ministers of the gospel. Every Friday by 8 p.m. We are there learning about the ministry in the name of Jesus. Ah, Pastor Karaja, God bless you so much. Maramiki sikuwa nagi naonaga tukimaliza umekuja. Uh, God bless you so much. Ubarikiwe zaidi. Hawitaji kodo bili ama kodo tatu. What you need is the blood of Jesus to save you and to save your family. God bless you so much. Thank you for coming again and again. I have no words. Uh, wait for my testimony. I'll give you the testimony what God has done. Ask Karaja to tell you what God has done. Hallelujah. He has done so much. I cannot tell it all. Hallelujah. So God bless you. Thank you for coming. You are out of curses. Ito pesa ambazo ulikuwa nataka kutoa kudio au kase zivujike. Unitumia kwa hiyo namba iko hapo. Tununue microphone. Na tununue speaker za kweta kubiri nje. Sinimefuja kasi yako leo. Si tumevuja hizo kasi, sibida pesa. Sasa hizo pesa, ulikuwa laenda kufuja kasi nazo. Si tununue microphone nazo. Hama na mnagani, my friend. God bless you, I love you. Apostara says my name. That's me tomorrow, same time, same place. Thank you for coming. You are blessed, you are favored. May you increase in all things in the mighty name of Jesus. Lali, have a good day.
שלום.